एवरीवन टुडे द टॉपिक इज मार्गुल्स इक्वेशंस सो दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ सॉल्यूशन थर्मोडायनामिक्स एप्लीकेशंस सो फॉर डिराइविंग दिस मार्गुल्स इक्वेशंस वी कंसीडर द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर जी बाय एक्स वन एक्स टू और टी सो द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन इज जी बाय एक्स वन एक्स टू और टी इज इक्वल टू ए टू वन एक्स वन प्लस ए वन टू एक्स टू सो हियर ए टू वन एंड ए वन टू आर कांस्टेंट्स इन एनी इक्वेशन सो जी बाय और टी इज इक्वल टू ए टू वन एक्स वन प्लस ए वन टू एक्स टू इनटू एक्स वन एक्स टू so by using this we derive expressions for ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2 by considering another equation so the equation is ln gamma i is equal to do of n g e by r t by do n i at constant pressure temperature and n g so this is already given expression in solution thermodynamics you can check previous videos so here we have to differentiate this ng by rt with respect to mole number so for that we multiply g by rt by n and then convert mole fractions to mole numbers so for converting mole fractions to mole numbers we take n is equal to that is total number of moles is equal to n1 plus n2 that is mole numbers of species 1 plus mole number of species 2 so from this x1 is replaced by n1 by n1 plus n2 that is n1 by total number of moles and x2 is replaced by n2 by n1 plus n2 there is n2 by total number of moles so substituting these terms we get ng by rt is equal to a21 n1 plus a12 n2 into n1 n2 by n1 plus n2 whole square so differentiating with respect to n1 ln gamma 1 is equal to that is we are writing for species 1 for a binary system so ln gamma 1 is equal to do of n g e by r t by do n1 at constant pressure temperature and n2 so n2 is a mole number of species 2 so now if you make the differentiation you get n2 into a21 n1 plus a12 n2 into 1 by n1 plus n2 whole square minus 2 n1 by n1 plus n2 whole cube plus n1 a21 by n1 plus n2 whole square then reconverting this n is to x is it gives ln gamma 1 is equal to x2 into a21 x1 plus a12 x2 into 1 minus 2 x1 plus a21 x1 now we will simplify this expression so ln gamma 1 is equal to x2 into multiplying the two terms in the brackets we get a21x1 plus a12x2 minus 2a21x1 square minus 2a12x2 x1 plus a21x1 it gets as usual then ln gamma 1 is equal to x2 into so you can see here a21x1 a21x1 so first term and last term you get the same so you get 2a21x1 
plus a12 x2 minus 2a21 x1 square minus 2a12 x1 x2. So, which is equal to x2 into again we take a12 x2 term plus first term and third term we will be uh, considering the same and we will take both the terms when you get 2a21 x1 into 1 minus x1 minus 2a12 x1 x2 it comes as usual then x2 into a12 x2 plus 2a21 x1 now we substitute 1 minus x1 as x2 so 2a21 x1 x2 you are getting then minus 2a12 x1 x2 it is as usual. So from this if you from this you take x2 totally from the 3 terms out, and we take x2 outside. If you take x2 outside x2 becomes x2 square. So if you see ln gamma 1 is equal to x2 square into a12 plus 2 into a21 minus a12 into x1. So, we take x2 from the 3 terms outside and simplify the equation as this. So, this is the expression for species 1 for ln gamma 1. Similarly, differentiating g by rt equation with respect to n2, it gives ln gamma 2 is equal to x1 square into a21 plus 2 into a12 minus a21 into x2. So, in the places of x2, x1 it will be changed into x1 and x2. So, the same differentiation we have to do with respect to n2 by maintaining constant n1. Then you get this expression for ln gamma 2. So, these are the two expressions for ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2. So, these are the Margulis equations and they represent the empirical model of solution behavior. So, there, then we consider for limiting conditions of infinite dilution. So, if we take infinite dilution, then if x1 is equal to 0, then ln gamma 1 power infinity becomes equal to a12. Similarly, if x2 is equal to 0, ln gamma 2 power infinity is equal to a21. So, above equations become simplified and you get both as constants a12 and a21. So, by using the Margulis equations for ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2, we can construct a correlation of the original p x 1 by 1 data sets. So, if you take p x 1 by 1 data sets, we can make a relation by using the expressions of ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2. So, for that expressions, we consider the equation gamma is equal to y a p by x i p i sat. So, this is also the older equation which you can refer in the previous videos. So, this equation if you write for a binary system for the species 1 and 2 then y1 p is equal to x1 gamma 1 p1 sat. Similarly, y2 p is equal to x2 gamma 2 p2 sat. So, when you add both of these equations you get p is equal to so y1 plus y2 becomes 1 so p is equal to x1 gamma 1 p1 sat plus x2 gamma 2 p2 sat similarly if you write expression for y1 which is equal to x1 gamma 1 p1 sat by x1 gamma 1 p1 sat plus x2 gamma 2 p2 sat So, by finding the values of ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2 and taking 
P1 sat and P2 sat as experimental values, we can calculate P and Y1 by using the above equations at various values of X1. So, first we determine ln gamma 1, ln gamma 2. Then we take the experimental values that is P1 sat and P2 sat. So, by taking these values and substituting in the above equations that is these two equations we can calculate the values of P and Y1. So, based on these expressions we have many problems which you will be getting in the exams and also in the gate exam. So, in this way we can relate P X1 and P Y1 which will be providing an adequate correlation of experimental data points. So, based on this I am giving you one question. This is the today's topic. So, based on that topic I am giving you one question that is a uh, find values of gamma 1 and gamma 2 for methyl ethyl ketone toline system. So, you give your answers in the comment section. So, whoever gives the correct answer will get a shout out from me. So, this is the today's topic. If you like my video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.